What's up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to show you how to slide tandems the easy way. All right. So when you're trying to figure out if your tandems are distributed, if the weight on your tandems are distributed evenly between your, your trailer and your tractor, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. All right. So bear with me. I'm recording on my iPhone. I don't really know how to record on iPhones, but I'm going to try and do this video the best and the most professional way possible. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, if you guys are looking at this scale ticket, it's an actual cat scale, um, scale ticket that I received. Um, if you look on my steer axles, your steer axles can't be more than 12,500 pounds, right? Depending on the rating of your tires, right? Your drive axle can't be more, no more than 34,000 pounds right your trailer axle can't be more than 34,000 pounds your gross weight depending on how what kind of trailer you have if you have a spread axle um, your your weights are going to be distributed you know differently but this is just a regular conventional trailer all right but your gross weight you don't want over 80,000 pounds right so I want to show you exactly how I go about sliding tandems if you see I'm over 424,000 pounds, uh, 420 pounds on my trailer axle. And I want to make sure that that weight is distributed evenly. And I'm going to scale one more time. See, a lot of times people guess, but I'm going to show you exactly how to calculate it. All right. So I'm going to go over here to my handy calculator. Right. Hopefully you guys can see this. Right. And I'm going to type. My 34, 420, right? That's how much the, the trailer axle is, minus what my drive axle is. You take your highest to your lowest, 32,840 equals 1,580, right? Now, when you're sliding tandems, right, you always want to divide that that first number by two right so divided by two equals 790 pounds now we want to move 790 pounds that's why we divide it by two if we just took the whole the whole amount and we slid it it wouldn't come out accurate so that first number you want to divide it by two and then depending on your trailer it might be 250 pounds 300 pounds you as you work with your trailer you would know I know on the trailers that we use at the company that I use it's about 250 pounds per hole right so you take that 790 and you divide it by 250 right so I know I want to slide my trailer three holes right now, once you slide your tandem three holes, your weight should be di uh, distributed evenly. I want to move my tandems three holes so that I have roughly 33 and 33 on my drive and my trailer axles. All right, so I'm gonna slide. I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna show you where I'm at. Show you exactly what I'm doing, and you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. All right. Okay, so now you remember when I said we have to move it three holes, right? Three holes from where? Each one of these holes counts as 250 pounds, right? There's 250 pounds right there. There's 250 pounds right there. There's 250 pounds right there. So whenever you're moving these tandems, right? And you scale, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you move your tandems to the problem right so we know we were 34,000 pounds heavy or excuse me we were over 420 pounds on our our trailer so we want to make uh, move the weight onto our tractor right so we want to move it three holes if you if you were heavy on your your tractor you'd move it three holes 
uh, three holes this way. How can I explain it to you? Three holes this way. I guess this is why nobody actually does these videos because it's kind of hard to explain. But because I'm heavy on my trailer, right? Here's my pin. I want to move it three holes this way. So that's one, that's two, that's three, right? See where that first hole is, right? That's where we're gonna move this pin. We're gonna move this pin to right there. This pin to right there. That's what you wanna do, that's three holes, right? It's not rocket science, just stick to the math and you're gonna be okay, all right? So from here, how many holes to right here so you know? And I'll show you why you wanna do this. You're gonna count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's gonna go in the hole 13, right? Let's do it again. There's one. There's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven, right? There's seven, there's eight, there's nine. I don't know if you can see me. There's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's the hole we want to get it in when we rescale, all right? We moved it three holes. It should come out perfect. All right, it's cold out here. It is cold. As you can see, it's snowing. All right. So I'm gonna go back, move my weight, and I'm gonna let you guys know what I got. All right. All right. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this, lift it up, pull it out. There's a little pin. Once that stays out, now you're able to slide your tandems, right? And we're gonna take the weight and we're gonna move it. Three holes, it's gonna, that pin that's right there, it's gonna go into that 13th hole, all right? All right, let's see what we got. All right, one, two, this is two, right? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's where we were. Ten hole, right? That's where we were. There's ten. There's eleven. There's twelve. And there's thirteen. All right. So we know we're close to the hole, right? We know we're close to the hole. All we gotta do is move our truck up just a tad bit. We pulled this lever out so that that pin will go in so we can slide it. Once we pull, hit this pin up, it's gonna push this pin out. All right, so I hit that. And now that pin is gonna slide out once I move my truck up just a little bit. Just gotta move my truck up just a little bit and I'm gonna come back and count again. Okay, there's your pin, right? There's your pin, so let's go back from the beginning, count again, see how we did. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's where we were. 11, 12, 13. All right, so that's hole 13 we got it in. Now, our weight should be evenly distributed. We shouldn't have a problem. We gotta get back on the scale, scale again, and let's see what our scale ticket says. What's going on, y'all? All right, so here's how it looks. This is our previous receipt. And remember what I was telling you where our steer axle is? Can't be more than 12,500. Our drive axle can't be more than 34,000 pounds. As you can see, it's 32,840. Our trailer axle can't be more than 34,000 pounds. As you can see, 
we're 34,420 pounds. And we want to make sure that, that the, the weight on our drive axle and the weight on our trailer axle is distributed evenly. All right? We don't have a, a problem with the total gross weight, 78,160 pounds. That could be 80,000 pounds. So we don't have a problem there. We just want to make sure that our weights are distributed evenly between our drive axle and our trailer axle. So let's see how we did. Okay, now we got our steer axle weighs 10,880 pounds. Our drive axle weighs 33,560 pounds. Our trailer axle weighs 33,640 pounds. As you can see, that's pretty doggone close. And that's what we're looking for. The federal government says that you cannot go down the highway with trailer axles over 34,000 pounds and we wanted to make sure that our weight is distributed evenly. All right, so as you can see, by moving three holes, I know that each hole took 250 pounds. So that's why I moved it three holes, right? And I'm gonna do a recap for you so you can get a better understanding of what we did. All right? So we knew that our trailer was 420 pounds over, right? We knew it was 420 pounds over and we wanted to get it evenly. All right, I'm trying to open up my iPad so we can get to our handy calculator and redo the math again, all right? Because I wanna do a recap for you. All right, so we take the highest number 34,420, we put that in the calculator. 34,420. And we wanna subtract, we wanna subtract that 32,840 minus 32,840 equals 1580. Now, if we divide the 250, it's gonna come out too over. It's gonna come out too heavy. So what you wanna do is you wanna divide that 1580 by two because you're, you're sliding for two tandems and you are one tandem, but you wanna just distribute the weight evenly. So what you do is you divide that number by two equals 790 pounds. Now that's the weight that you wanna move towards the problem all right you want to move that 790 pounds towards the drive axle right you want to put that 790 on the drive axle right and we know that each hole is 250 pounds now each hole on your trailer might be a little bit different but on my trailer each hole is about 250 pounds so you divide that 790 by 250 And you got three holes, right? And that's why we went from the 10th hole. Excuse me, I almost dropped my my uh, my handy calculator here. That's why we went from the 10th hole to the 13th hole, right? And when you're sliding tandems, you always want to slide your tandems towards your your problem, whichever is heavier. If it's heavier on the uh, if it's heavy on the drive, you want to slide your tandems forward, right? If it's heavy on the uh, if it's heavy on the trailer, you want to slide the tandems backward. So I hope this video helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, just hit me up. I know I do a lot of stuff on credit, but I just wanted to put this out there because I know that this video, right, is gonna help a lot of people because a lot of times people wonder, how do I get my my weight right, right, on one skill on two skill tickets. And here's why it's important. This first scale ticket is going to cost you $11. Your reway, every reway after that is going to cost you $2. All right? So you scale two, three, four times, just times that number by two. You don't want no more than, than two scale tickets. Right? And this is how you get your weight done evenly. All right. I hope you guys have a blessed day. You guys take care. Bye-bye.